Imagine a robot. What does it look like? What does it do? C-3PO? R2-D2? A robotic vacuum cleaner chasing a cat? <laughs> Most of you can imagine a world with robots. And some might be concerned about robots taking our jobs, particularly with the introduction of manufacturing, with the introduction of technologies into manufacturing. Advanced manufacturing is certainly changing how we make things. And researchers are investigating and developing the capabilities of robots even further. One new and exciting area of robotic research is design robotics, which investigates the essential role design-led approaches play in creating high-value, mass, customized products such as architectural facades and art. Instead of being technology-focused, design robotics is human-centered, which means it focuses on the needs of the end user. Take, for example, local manufacturers who are collaborating with the world's leading artists, designers, and architects in building large-scale architectural facades and urban artworks. These companies place design at the center of every decision they make in translating creative ideas into the reality of large-scale urban artworks. Recently, the artist Emily Floyd collaborated with local manufacturers in using an industrial robot to translate her wooden scaled model of Paul the Parrot into a 1.4 meter tall aluminium sculpture. The use of the robot afforded a true replication of the artist's intent while reducing manufacturing costs. This enabled the manufacture of six sculptures in Brisbane instead of one sculpture manufactured in China. The use of robotics in manufacturing frees highly skilled craftspeople from laborious and often dangerous tasks such as metal polishing while maintaining high quality standards in manufacturing. This provides them with more time for creative and innovative pursuits. As a trained architect, I am passionate about the design of buildings, cities, and public places. I'm interested in how robots in manufacturing are helping to transform our ability to express ourselves and our cultures through innovative materials and methods. And I challenge you to consider design-led in a manufacturing context and how this can impact and inform the cities and public places we inhabit. What does it mean to be design-led in a manufacturing context? And why is this important? How does this approach design-led robotics impact and inform the cities and public places we live in. My research sits within a large transdisciplinary project where I work with roboticists, engineers, interaction designers, artists, and industry partners. We would like to let robots see what they are working on and make robots easier to program and control. This is a good thing, because this will allow more people the opportunity to work with robots to complete a range of tasks. We would like to let robots see what they are working on and make robots easier to program and control. I had to reset like a robot. <laughs> Um, these are exciting things about robotics because this will free people from mundane and dangerous jobs, allowing them 
to do more creative and rewarding jobs. We would like to expand the range of things that robots can make and share these results through an open innovation network where people can share knowledge and work together in collaborative and transdisciplinary ways. This sharing means engaging with you, the public, to consider the process of design and how it can be human-centered. By focusing on the needs of humans, on your needs, we can design solutions that respond to the needs of the person on the other side of the outcome. The opportunity to support design-led research is applicable to more areas than just design or robotics. For example, collaborating with local manufacturers in using robotic vision systems and user interfaces means increasing their ability to make more big things and create more jobs in Queensland. By embracing technology and design, the local manufacturing sector has the opportunity to enhance and support human creativity and innovation while retaining and attracting more technical and creative talents to Australia. Mass customization enabled by design robotics will transform how we make things, including art and architecture. Robots are in our lives, and robots being in even more parts of our lives is the future. Now, imagine that robot again. What do you want it to look like? What do you want it to do?